women are not hayav to, to hear parashat zakhor. Women are required to hear the mughila. That's, that's something quite different. Uh, all these other interesting uh, types of, uh, of folklore that exist with regards to zakhor, like reading it according to every possible uh, type of pronunciation, uh, etc. All these things are very, very strange, to put it mildly. With regards to the Mishnah of Kriyat Shema, where the Mishnah says explicitly, there is a Hovale that Degbo to to pronounce and read Kriyat Shema precisely. Uh, there we see people, for whatever reason, do not do so, even though it's generally considered to be a Miswa Minat Torah. Parashat Zachor, which they claim is a Miswa Minat Torah, which is, which is not actually so, to hear this specific reading on this specific day, in this, in this specific, from this specific uh, Sefer Torah. Uh, here, all of a sudden, everyone has to have, have it read in uh, Persian, uh, Polish uh, and uh, Temani pronunciation for some reason. This is all very strange. But uh, on the other hand, I suppose it does. Uh, halakhically, it's, it's not, it's not, uh, it's, it's without basis. But I suppose it does add some, some uh, flavor to the, to the Miswa. It does uh, add uh, some pomp and circumstance to the, to the event, and perhaps that's also a good thing.